What's up? What's up? I am sick. You can tell because of my voice. She's really, really sick. You do not want to know what happened two days ago. It was last night. No, it was two days ago. Well, two days of, of the night. <laughs> it was not last night. Oh, I thought it was last night. Okay, <laughs> so... Even but I still want to be on the show, so... You, okay. She's mm -hmm. been sick, or er, sick, only at night, though. She's fine all day long. She yeah, wanted to go swimming that. today. I took her swimming. And then... I was perfectly fine. She was really fine. She was laughing, giggling, pushing mm -hmm. people in the pool. They were pushing me in the pool, throwing me and in the pool. And she tried pushing them back in the pool. <laughs> but, now she's sick again, so... Practically, we think it's only the night time. Yeah, she doesn't like being cooped up inside. Because, well, at night's when it to get cold. It was pretty warm today. No, then it fine. got cold. It it's because I'm not at my house. Like I'm used to the weather. Now, here, I'm not going to be used to the weather. Because it's going on and off. Anyways. <laughs> so, we got some more jokes for you guys. But they're not blonde jokes. Yeah. We think we insult. Well, I think I insult Crystal. I knew you okay. was there. So, now it's my turn to insult her. Because it's brunette jokes. Being a brunette joke. And I choose it, which I really don't care. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the brunette. <laughs> it's only one brunette joke. One, and then we have some with couples, and then one with animals. So, yeah. This one is called uh, uh, Pregnant Brunette, and she's going to be reading the whole thing because Cause I she's, sound awful. She's <laughs> sick. Okay. The per Burnett has been married about a year one day and that she came running up to her husband, jumping for joy. <coughs> he didn't know how to react, so he started jumping up and down along with her. Why are we so happy, he asked. She said, honey, I have some really great news for you. Great, he said. Tell me what you're so happy about. She stopped breathlessly from all the jumping up and down. I'm pregnant, she gasped. The husband was ecstatic as they had been trying for quite a while. He grabbed her and kissed her. Wow, that is wonderful. I couldn't be happier. Then she said, oh, honey, there is more. What do you mean more, he asked. Well, we are not having just one baby. We are having twins. He was amazed at how she could know so, so soon after getting pregnant. How do you know that, he asked. It was easy, she said. I went to the pharmacy and bought the two-pack home pregnancy kit. Both tests came back positive. <laughs> if you guys don't get it, then po comment and then we'll tell you. Okay. Next one is called Husband versus Wife. It's very funny. And you guys would have to be married to kind of understand it. Yes. Okay. I don't. I don't understand it. I have her do it. Three men were traveling and happened to meet at a bar in New Jersey. One man was from Tennessee. One from North Carolina. One from Kentucky. They got acquainted and started talking about their problems with, with their wives. The guy from Tennessee by, began by saying, I told my wife in no uncertain problem. terms that from now on she would have to do her own cooking. Well, the first day, there was nothing. Second day, still nothing. And by the third day when I came home from work, the table was set and a wonderful dinner was prepared with wine and even dessert. Then the man from North Carolina spoke up. I sat my wife down and told her that from now on, she would have to do her own shopping and also do her own cleaning. The first day I saw nothing, the second day I saw nothing, and by the third day the, I came home, the whole house was spotless and in the pantry shelves were filled with groceries. <coughs> the fo fellow from Kentucky was married to a woman from Harlan County. He sat up straight on the bar stool and said, I gave my wife a stern look and told her that from now yeah, on she would have to do the cooking, shopping, and house cleaning. Well, the first day I saw nothing, the second day I still saw nothing, but on the third day I could see a little bit out of my left eye. Seems he had a black eye the first day she told him. <sighs> okay, the next one is called 31 Days, and it's actually really funny. One day the guy came into a bar and asked the bartender for a drink. Then he asked for another after a couple more drinks, the bartender gets worried. What's the matter? The bartender asks. My wife and I got into a fight, explained the guy, and now she is not talking to me for a whole 31 days. The bartender thought about this for a while, but isn't it a good thing that she isn't talking to you? Asked the bartender. Yeah, except tonight is my last night. <laughs> is his last night because it was 31 days? Now this is the 30th, and then tomorrow is the 31st. 
Which means she's gonna be talking his ear off again. Yep. If yeah. you don't get it, you have to be married, probably. Or date <laughs> someone. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Next one called is Who Is It? And I didn't get it, but then I got it. <laughs> A woman goes into a store and buys a beautiful green and blue parrot, but the only words the parrot knows how to say is, who is it? She takes the parrot home, but soon realizes that the bird colors clashes with her living room. So she calls an interior designer who says he will come by shortly. When the decorator comes, the woman is out shopping. So when he knocks, the parrot says, who is it? The man says, it's the decorator. The parrot says, who is it? The man says, it's the decorator. The parrot says, who is it? The man says, it's the decorator. The parrot says, who is it? The man screams, it's the freaking decorator. The decorator gets so mad that he pops a blood vessel and dies on the spot. The lady comes home and finds a dead man laying on her porch. She says, oh my gosh, who is it? The parrot replies, it's the decorator. <laughs> See, you don't get it? Again, the parrot only knows what to say is, who yeah, is it? But then he whatever. says, it's the decorator. That, that so, is, yeah. Manner. If you guys want to find out more about these jokes, you can just Google jokes, and it was pretty much the first one I clicked yeah, on, and it had a whole bunch of different like sections, I've husband, done, wives, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, uh, animals, uh, kid jokes, dumb blondes, your you mama use, jokes, redneck joke, things like that. If you guys have a preference on what kind of jokes we can do, we can do those. Also, I might do some pickup lines, because I saw a lot of funny ones. And, um... That's fine. Again, about the riddle thing, I'm still working on that. She's not helping me, even though I've been asking her to say, Hey, help me with the riddle. I kind of got sick too myself, though, so it's not my fault. And I have to take care of Logan. My right ear, I can barely hear out of. I mean, like, it's been popping me, and then, yeah. We went to the store for her at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> uh, it wasn't my fault, but then I couldn't fall asleep. It was hurting me really bad. Yeah, about that. I'm not so, yeah, the contest is still up. Basically, what I want you guys to do if you want to start getting working on it and start submitting it, um, I either want you guys to post a, like, a creative drawing, or you can write a poem or a short story, or anything that has to do with, like, my show or us. <laughs> so, you can either draw a picture to represent us. It might be our new logo if it's a story or a poem or whatever, I might read it, but if you don't want your name on it, you know it won't be on there. Also, we need more questions. We only got one for Butterfly. And her web show, or not her web show, her <laughs> fan page, <laughs> her fan page is up, and it's only on Facebook, though, so you need a Facebook account to join. Uh, I'm going to post the link right now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Um, I think we're just going to do this, uh... This one show because I since I'm sick, I just really want to go to sleep and feel a lot better. She just wanted to do this because we didn't do one yesterday, so that just shows how much she loves you guys. So, I'm sorry I'm not being so weird. If you need to post your questions anonymously, the email is still butterflytr at live dot com. Yeah, we won't say your name if you don't want us to. It's just gonna be questions. Unless you want to shout out and say, Hey, can you say hi to this person or say hi to me? So yeah. We'll do that too. Okay, so everyone have a great night and I hope your weekend is rocking. It's Saturday. And if you have a summer Happy I hope you're walking. I hope you're rocking. I can't talk. Rocking. <laughs> yeah. Happy summer, happy summer. That's why I'm here. It's because my summer. It's starting a until June. <laughs> you know, or July. Alright, so everyone, peace out. Peace. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Lost.